It was a time when many young Jews were abandoning the traditions of their parents and grandparents. They equated Torah study with humiliation and poverty, from which they sought to escape through socialism, communism and secular Zionism. There was no future really, and in anything it has to do with Torah. <laughs> At the Great Congress of European Rabbis in 1923, known as the Knessia HaGedoyla, presided over by the Chafetz Chaim and other Gedolim, Rabbi Meir Shapiro presented his vision for the Jewish future in the form of two proposals. The first was to elevate the honor of Torah students everywhere by building a yeshiva where they wouldn't have to beg for their basic needs. He was not only building yeshiva, he was building a new reality. Seven talented students and I studied together with one teacher until we reached the age of Bar Mitzvah. Then, to my good fortune, Providence led me to find an appropriate place of Torah at the home of my grandfather, the Gaon and author of the Mincha Shai. As for my seven friends, it was their lot to suffer a painful life of eating teg and sleeping on benches. They were unable to withstand this test and were lost to us. It was then that I made a vow to myself to correct this historic wrong towards the youth who study Torah. And the idea of Yeshivas Chachmei Lublin was born. As for Rav Meir's second proposal, he called it Daf Hayomi, uniting observant Jews throughout the world by studying the same daily page of Talmud. Rav Meir Shapira came to the session of Moetzes Doyle Torah with the idea of Daf Yoimi. And they rejected it. Why one daf a day? Uh, everyone has to learn a few pages a day. No, I to understand. There were people who the So Mayor Shapir asked them, okay, so it will not be a decision of Moetzek Dollar Torah. Can I offer in my name? I said, this, yes, this you can do. What would become Rav Meir's lifelong mission was shaped by his childhood experiences. They hired from him a melamed. The, the Rebbe in the class there was not enough for him. The agreed day for the teacher to come had arrived, and the teacher didn't come yet. And the mother became very upset. Kleiner Meir, he asked his mother, why are you so worried? He didn't come today, he'll come tomorrow. So she answered him, but you don't understand, a day that passed by, don't come back. The words of wisdom of my mother have accompanied me throughout my life and have been a guiding light to this very day. When I came to spread the idea of Dafayomi, I would quote her. Every day which passes without learning Torah is a loss which cannot be recovered. Since his Ptira, they're celebrating the Yotzite. 
hundreds of his Talmudim were killed. One would think that he and his achievements would never continue. Thousands of people are learning the daf. Millions over the years. As I took a break, I get down. As we came to the Yudzad, Doch Gan Shas. So I came now for the Yudzad to tell him thank you. Age 36. That was the year that he had this idea and changed the world. I'm 36. I want to ask a Kodesh Baruch Hu from his schools that I also want to change the world. To believe that such a dream became a reality to come to the MetLife Stadium and to found almost 100,000 Eden yeah. celebrating Sium Shas. Even the most optimistic dream of Lublina Roof Rabbi Meir Shapira Zetzal wouldn't reach this climax.